Hey guys, this is your host Irfan Nasr and today in this video I want to share a news with you guys regarding Microsoft's Windows 10. As we all know that Windows 10 was released in 2015 and it was uh, probably the last Windows ever to be released only to be you know rebranded as Windows 11 and uh, in 2021. Now Microsoft basically took its word back as they said that Windows 10 could be the potential last uh, you know Windows operating system and they will give the periodic updates to it but we all know that windows 11 released on 2021 with major changes this meant that old cpus and pcs were not able to run windows 11 because of its uh, requirements like you need to have a tpu and arm based uh, systems in order to run that uh, windows 11. apart from that if your uh, CPU was from an older generation, let's say seventh generation, it could no longer run Windows 11 properly. So therefore, these were some of the major changes which uh, you know hindered Windows 11's popularity among the masses. Therefore, a lot of people are still using Windows 10 even now after eight years. But Microsoft has recently announced that they are ending the support for Windows 10 on uh, October 2025, 10 years after its life cycle. This means that 250 million users like 250 million computers won't be receiving any more update for windows 10 now this how big this news is is uh, is because this news and this uh, decision from microsoft will eventually cause a lot of electronic waste to be generated the thing is that these processors or these uh, chipsets won't be able to run windows uh, 11 therefore what they will do people will obviously dump these uh, electronics or they might sell it online and eventually big uh, countries like united kingdom united states will offload these old cpus and probably will reach regions like pakistan india and uh, africa so this this decision will eventually make a lot of e-waste and it will be hazardous to the environment also because obviously a lot of electronic waste has been dumped out there will be a huge uh, you know uh, backlash now i don't know how uh, microsoft will able to, microsoft will able to you know tackle with this situation and another thing is that windows 10 is just not being used at homes or offices it is being used everywhere from airport security check-ins to uh, grocery shops every operating system is currently running windows 10 therefore uh, these uh, people will have to provide extra money for microsoft to give them updates for obviously to, for two years now this is basically uh, end of life support for windows 10 and if these uh, big major companies they do not want to upgrade their uh, servers will eventually get service for two years now the reason behind up not upgrading their computer systems is because what happens is uh, there are a lot of thousands of uh, computers out there and every windows license has a price so it will be hectic to change all of the service all the server computers for for that company will be a huge deal uh, this is uh, what i wanted to share with you guys and uh, hopefully microsoft will uh, maybe allow all the operating systems to run windows 11 in the future updates who knows because when they launched windows 11 2021 they made strict requirements that these specifications you need to have now the reason behind uh, old windows uh, like windows 10 and windows 7 uh, were popular because any, any cpu in the world can run it like pentium 3 and pentium 4 can also run those operating systems but this time it will be a deal breaker so uh, yeah and that's that's about it and this is what i wanted to share with you guys so if you have a windows 11 you need, don't need to worry about because it will have an extended uh, you know support uh, than windows 10. so that's pretty much it and if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will post videos soon peace out